Okay, okay, welcome back guys. In today's video, um, we are gonna look at the market, the overall structure of the market, exactly what's going on. And also, as promised, I'm gonna show you how to find the gems and also to understand where we are in the market. So obviously, I've got you on a screen here. You can see the whole market's red, apart from a few coins here who are pumping, right? Market looks doom and gloom. I mean, BTC's down three and, you know, 3%, everything looks so bad. But I want to show you a bigger picture about everything. So recently, we were talking about um, uh, how some of the analytics uh, look like. So uh, let's just leave this for a second. Let's go into the other charts just to have a little quick um, look at this, right? Let's have a look at this, right? Just so we see what's good. So we've got the two year multiplier and uh, let's have a look and see what this is showing to us number one so remember guys just you can you can see it for yourself you can go to look into bitcoin this is a free chart you can see so let's zoom into this particular area here right and what we're looking at is we want um so currently this is our price right as we we just don't want it to go to this red line whatever happens we don't mind this going sideways and going up for as long as it needs to because that means it's very healthy go into april go into may go into next year if need be just stay below this red line and we're fine right now if we just go back one state and see another uh, uh pie like so we're looking at the 200 week um, um heat map right remember we only came to this uh slight orangish green right um, so we haven't even printed our next one, right? We need to print that and uh, let's have a look and see when we actually print that. So again, we've got loads of data still remaining to come to us, right? Um, the other one I want to show you is the Pi Cycle Indicator. Now, this is one of the ones that uh, I'm going to, uh, I mean, we were having a discussion on Twitter and uh, I, I replied and uh, somebody replied back to me and uh, I got some brilliant information about this and I want to talk more about this. So why is this quite important and also not so important if you look at a bigger picture and if you do a combination of many other charts right um so before we do any of those let's um quickly go through a little bit of a um uh, an analysis on some of our favorite coins so we're looking at bitcoin and what i want to show you is you see this particular wedge here so i'm just showing you this wedge. this is a bigger picture right and what i did was i took this particular section here for this particular area and as you can see as soon as you take it further up it will actually shrink a little bit but it doesn't matter and you know look i always say like you know this is i don't have a crystal ball but this is just becomes a joke right when your line here um, is always indicating a particular number, right? So it's always showing this, look, 3, 000, uh, sorry, 39,900 and whatever. And this is weird, right? So, but also I want to quickly show you what, I'm, what, 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 what is happening here. So the red line here is the uh, 20 moving average, 20 uh, day exponential moving average. The orange line that you can see is the 50. And this is the 100, right? We're on the 100 line. So this is actually, you know, nothing too much over 100 day. This is where the, um, you know, the average would be of the market. So still very good nothing wrong with that right so you know it's actually quite healthy as long as we don't drop anything significantly below this right i know there are some freaky news going on out there so just be careful i mean just be calm you know because uh, that's the only way and obviously you can see that um previously what i did was um i actually drawed some um uh, a um support lines right so you can see that i've just drawn some support lines and these are actually more these support lines were drawn on the four hourly charts so they don't look really good here i mean i can flip it over to the four hourly just to show you what i'm seeing um but obviously you know that uh, for me i always rely more on the longer term data than actually shorter term so as you can see there's a reason behind this because we had some significant resistance and support around this particular zone here we had it here we had it here so what i've done is i've put this line here and as you can see we broke below this right and then the next one we have is around this area so the 54 and um, just following the channel as you can see we can calm down right actually so this 39 wasn't even correct right so this 39 wasn't correct this 39 needs to be here um which means that it's actually showing forty thousand. right okay so yeah i mean by a couple of hundred dollars it changed 
So this is uh, what the Bitcoin chart is showing, right? Let's have a look at the Ethereum chart. As you can see on the Ethereum chart, we've got a lovely little triangle forming here and it's well within the zone, right? So this is what I want to show you, that we're within the zone, we're respecting this upward trend line, right? We just have to break above and once we break above, then we're there and this is the point we need to break above. So the price we need to break above is 1981 apparently or 76, right? You know, something like this. Uh, 69 actually sorry my bad 69 so as you can see here 69 so we just need to break above that in order to basically get back into the momentum so move upwards right now the other coin we recently talked about Cardano and this is a beautiful pattern so here as you can see this is a on a longer time frame I want to show you this right let's log, go to logarithmic one second so as you can see this is an ascending wedge right an ascending wedge which is like kind of concaves on itself so it's larger here it's wider here and then over here it actually kind of comes together this is actually quite a bearish scenario so this is what you have to understand it does look very bearish but cardano is doing something different it also has a wedge but it's not it's not coming into itself it's just it's just a trend Right? This is this wedge itself is just a trend wedge, right? And ultimately it's still showing very bullish. And so far we, we are well within the center of this. And you know, so far it looks very good. So I mean I, I don't know, some of the guys uh, who are watching the video, you probably remember the arrows. We did uh, some other analysis recently while I was uh, banned from uh or well, I had the strike on YouTube. But um so as you can see <coughs> our targets are still set we're still going up we're still in within the channel um everything looks very good so we are definitely um still looking very bullish on this one so now let's uh, come back to what we were going to talk about so we're going to talk about this <coughs> so everything here is doom and gloom um you know markets about to crash all these bad news and all this stuff right so obviously one of those news was regarding the pi cycle and uh, before I go to PySQL, actually, um, here's another thing. Somebody recently asked me, they said uh, they wanted to uh, learn how to use, um, what do you call this, uh, how to use uh, the, uh, the trading view, right? Um, unfortunately, I did make a video and uh, like an idiot, I actually uh, did something very stupid. I actually deleted the stupid the video so uh, yeah I feel kind of stupid because of that because I actually deleted the whole bloody video but I just want to quickly uh, take you here and just show you how we're gonna so anytime just here I can give you a basic training right so obviously create your account so you can save your uh, files and everything once you're here um, you've got all your patterns and all your rulers and measurement tools here um, that you can measure all sorts of stuff obviously for your drawing tools you've got your uh, drawing icon just uh, where is it uh, which one is the drawing this one is the drawing one right so here you can actually choose all your drawing tools so for me like I usually use the path and the brush so that's all there but those are I mean most of the time you will see me use the uh, the brush only right um, so this is uh, the uh, thing so here I've put it when, when you star it it actually comes here so just you can just put it here now we're looking for indicators so here we're going to be looking at the um, uh, Bitcoin logarithmic so we just type in uh, Bitcoin log right just put that in and you see the logarithmic curve just comes up and obviously the one with the highest use is the one that you want to use as well right so there's no point looking at the rest of them this one very simple just press that tap that and it will just show up right so now you've got the logarithmic chart come on you can now go in and actually just tap that and you see all of this comes up and if you go here you can see you can actually now go and change your styles right so you can modify you can switch this one off switch this one off switch this one off you know uh what is this yeah you can switch this one off as well let's leave the median line let's switch this off and i'm just doing it in front of you just to quickly show you how simple and easy it is actually so I, you know even though i had a very extensive video on literally showing you every single function but um just to show you that on the logarithmic as you can see um over a long time we, we're nowhere near the top right and traditionally as you can see if you go back and for that just easier to do weekly um so just to show you on a weekly every time we hit the top line that's when we basically max out right so let's have a look at this so this is what you have done this is 2011 as you can see in 2013 we didn't max out and then we went back a little bit and then we finally done the second bull run so in 2013 we actually had two bull runs right where we first one topped out in the on, on april and then the second one in november and then the market crashed 2017 we just had one so as you can see this one looks very similar to the 2013 one because if you look we're in that very similar zone that we were around here 
So, you know, we've got a long way to go. So we might suddenly just fall back below this and go sideways a little bit. And also you've got to remember this, these lines are exponential, right? So they're constantly moving up. The numbers are constantly changing. So a lot of things could happen here, right? Um, and as you can see, I've already uh, marked the date of the next halvening. So when we get to that date, I will put another line here just to basically uh, fix that. So as you can see on this one, um, we've got <coughs> each line um, indicating um, where the market tops are and where the market bottoms are. So just as a, um, you know, before we get to the pie cycle thingy that we're talking about, this particular chart here, before we get into this, <coughs> I wanted to show you that. So we've got that. Um, where are we right now? So we're, yeah, we're on the BLX, right? So we got that there. Um, also, um, you know, if you can, if you're logged in and it's completely for free, you can just come here and um, select whatever coins you want, right? So for for the sake of this one, let's just say we want VET, you can come here and you can just add it, right? Choose your selected, um, um, the exchange that you want to track and just press plus and it will come. So for example, let's choose this one here. So I'll just choose this one here. And as you can see, just here, it popped up. So now it's on my watch list. So I can easily jump in anytime I want and I can see all the tracking I've ever done. It's all there. Finally, uh, okay. So in this one, as you can see the logarithmic doesn't want to work. So let's switch off logarithmic because it's not uh, ideal to use that. So as you can see from here uh, on the V chain, the first target we had a few days ago. So let's zoom in and show you. So the, remember the first target we had here, um, we actually, uh, was it V chain? I think it was V chain, right? So we had a target. We actually already met that target um, and we've gone there. And now we're sitting, uh, we'll come back to this particular zone here. So hold on, let me go into the daily because that will be a little bit more accurate for you. So yeah, as you can see here, so this is where we were, this is how high we want. And, um, you know, the target we had originally was uh, the nine cent. So around here, nine cent, and we've met the nine cent. And so currently, so we have a new high. We can now adjust this and bring it up to here and say, right, this is now our new zone. What's the latest level we're gonna be heading towards? So the next target would be the 11 cents. And VeChain, you know, looks very positive, as I said many times, and we can be going up this. And ultimately, if you look at the trend line, it is still holding that trend line. So as as long as it doesn't break below the trend line the trend is just going to continuously go up so you got a little bonus one here okay let's not waste any more time let's uh, go into some uh, of the pie cycle fundamentals and i want you guys to listen to or just read this conversation so willy woo um you know this is a tweet conversation we had uh, a few hours ago all right, so they said that Coinbase is the latest to be sued by CFTC. Anyone noticing BTC getting easier to trade, whatever, right? So CryptoDoc comes up and says, what are you thinking about these two lines on the chart for bull run top greetings, right? So he's obviously talking about the pie cycle, as you can see here. So you'll probably find these kinds of moving average models have tendency to go parallel before they touch timing. So this is what he said. So my reply is, this is the first time these lines have come to this point since the algorithm was created. Any data on the chart prior to this data inputs and algorithm is nothing more, right? So this is what I've said. And, uh, you know, let me give everybody a like, obviously, while I'm here so they can see. Um, so let's give this guy a like. Give this guy a like. Obviously, he's my favorite. Let's give myself a like as well. Now we're going to go into this particular reply, the last reply that came in. So we're going to all listen to this uh, together and see what this video shows us, right? So let's open this video up and let's see what it says. Hey, everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin and the Pi Cycle Top Indicator. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go for 250,000 subscribers. So let's go ahead and jump in. So there's a lot of fuss because everyone's talking about the Pi Cycle Top Indicator um, and the fact that it's rapidly approaching across, okay? So if you're not familiar with the Pi Cycle Top Indicator, uh, essentially it, it sort of identifies the tops, the prior Bitcoin tops, based on when these two moving averages cross. Um, and actually, you know, we've seen them, we've seen them cross three times prior. Um, one is is of the what is one is the 111 day moving average, um, the other the 350, and it's twice twice that. So let's go back in time and look at the various crosses of the pie cycle top. So there was one in 2013, in early 2013, and it was in April. And 
It was considered a pie cycle top, but I would not actually consider this to be the peak of the market cycle, okay? Because we ultimately sort of picked ourselves up by our bootstraps and, and continued along the way until the end of the year. And in fact, we peaked again in November. Also, just to let you guys know, um, I am watching this video right now. I haven't watched it before. Um, as you can see, I had it on and you know, I just kind of scoured through a little bit, but I did not watch it. I did not listen to it. So whatever information you're listening to here, I'm also listening. So we're gonna judge it um, at the end and see what he has to say. So far, it's a reply. Let's have a listen and see what the reply is. ...or so of 2013. So we had two Pi Cycle tops. And, and then we had another Pi Cycle top here in December of 2017, so just over four years later, we had another pie cycle top. So generally speaking, based on historical moves, when they cross, we've had the pie cycle top indicator say that, okay, when it crosses, we're within approximately three days of a local top. So today, they are getting somewhat close. We've been following this one for the last few months. If we were to take a measured move from their current, from where they currently sit, we can see that they are approximately about two and a half percent or so, two, two, two and a half to three percent apart from each other. So we still have some time before they theoretically cross. If we were to extrapolate these moves, we might consider them to be crossing here in the next few days or weeks. Uh, for instance, this type of extrapolation, some type of linear extrapolation from where they currently are, and it would put them maybe crossing within within a week or so. Um, however, we do know that these are contingent on the price. And so, depending on what the price of Bitcoin does, could actually impact whether they cross or not. If you go back to the last cycle and look, when, they, when we were actually starting to get close to crossing in September of 2017, and in fact, at the time, we got to within, say, 8% or so of crossing, and then they actually diverged again for a while before ultimately crossing in December. So we know they have the ability to, to to get close to one another, like this was 8%, and then they ultimately diverged back to about 15% or so. So we know that we have the possibility for that to happen. What could cause something like that to happen? Well, if we had a substantial correction in the short term, like this one, that could actually cause them from converging here in the next few weeks. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, as I've always said with all models, we know that all models are wrong, some are useful, in the same manner, this model has not yet proven to be predictive in any way. It was developed after the prior alt or the prior peaks, and so we do not know yet if it's going to be predictive. To so come over here and, and we look at say like the, the monthly RSI, which again I don't know how useful the RSI is um, uh, because you know it can stay overheated for substantial amounts of time in a row and it'll just keep telling you that you're overbought or oversold and the price can change a lot in that time frame um, but if you look at say like the monthly rsi we can see and this is the relative strength index if it's below 30 it means it basically it's oversold if it's above 70 it's overbought currently it's at 92 um, and for bitcoin we've seen major market or local tops sometimes market cycle tops at around this 97 level um, and we are quickly approaching it. So imagine a future scenario where we go into April and we're going well into the regression band. We have a pie cycle top. We're also looking at the monthly RSI going to 97. This is a, these are a lot of indicators sort of um, basically saying the same thing. Okay, so it's just another reminder that of course we no one knows really what's going to happen, but always protect yourself, manage your risk so that you're not necessarily um, overexposed to the market if something like that were to happen and you and you're looking to um, capitalize on that but at the end of the day we'll always say it all models are wrong some are useful we'll follow them we'll see how useful they are but we can see that by a lot of standards by a lot of these different models that we've developed over the last few years to to look at and figure out where the market is we do know things that are getting we do know things are getting overheated but we also know that based okay um cut the long story short um this was very informative i don't think i could have put it any better um i really appreciate um i i i, I will put the link uh for his channel as you can see uh benjamin uh Cowan. i'm going to put his 
link on the uh, video please do go and subscribe to him as you can see he's done it beautifully um i love it um i couldn't have done it any better and saves me from making a video as well so i'm really really happy with what the information he's put there so you do understand that you can't just take one information and just take that for granted it's not the ultimate it's not the do all right there are many more indicators that you have to use in combination in order for you to understand as you probably know from before, where I've uh, many of the guys who follow the channel from before, I always say this, right? Um, you know, 99% is all analysis, data. You do the data crunch and you understand before you do the trade. Unlike some guys, like for example, we've got people in some channels where, you know, they will go and they will just literally just go and, you know, jump onto uh, something and say, oh, guys, it's breaking out. And then there's nothing, there's no fundamentals, there's no technicals, right? They just literally just pump, 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 right? I've said it many times. And, I, you know, it's disgusting where people are not actually giving you the actual data. What's the point you to tell it saying, we're going to break up up and we're going to break down and either way the market goes oh it was exactly as predicted come on guys right let's just be honest with people let's not cheat people and the most important thing is we what we need to do is make sure that uh, we get the best uh, uh, information basically and um, we use that to our advantage and make sure that the public um, get to see this so yeah go back to his channel do subscribe okay i will link it in the video um, now i want to take you into my channel and as i can show you the channel has actually exploded, right? So the channel has exploded. And just to show you guys how far it's exploded, uh, there's one video, this one here, right? It's just gone mental. So it was published on this, uh, on, as you can see, on the 7th of March. And we've got about three and a half, I think about almost about um, 4,000 views. I mean, the impressions, it's just beautiful. And this is all because of you guys, right? And I want to really thank every one of you um, for getting me to this level. Just Nothing is impossible. All right, yeah, so <laughs> just for a bit of fun. Um, but as you can see, look, guys, the channel has exploded. 376 subscribers. That's just crazy, right? I, I did not expect this growth. And I think it's all because of you guys sharing, liking, subscribing. So, you know, to the videos, whenever you see a video, you're always hitting that thumbs up and everything. It, it does really, really help. Like, you know, when you subscribe to it, it does help. Um, also, when you subscribe, make sure to hit the bell button so you, you are informed of every single video that comes out. And as I said, look, I'm a bit of a nutter, so I don't really always do um, just cryptocurrency stuff, right? I do other stuff like here. I launched one today, two hours ago. I launched it, you know, just about anonymous and everything. I'm a big fan of cryptography and anonymity and everything. And there's a lot of stuff like, you know, I just released that, you know, you got... Um, you know just as a joke i've got some of the stuff i've got other info stuff new stuff jokes comedies right it's not all about one thing plus here's a brother who wanted to do something so i've put him on there as well you know this channel as i said look clearly here swat dudes media all right sd media for short crypto news and blogs right so we're going to keep it like this we're going to mix it up we don't want to be just that one channel where you get that one thing and i know it does work i mean for the algorithm that would be the best right because i am confusing the algorithm but i'd rather have that then uh, not. So I just want to give my big, big thanks to everybody that subscribed uh, to the channel. And obviously, um, probably at the end of the month or um, probably next month, I'm going to go back into what I did last time. I'm going to go into my subscriber list and anybody who's uh, made their subscription visible, I will subscribe back to you. Um, so, you know, you everybody gets a subscribe from me. Anybody on my channel that I can subscribe, I will subscribe. OK, that's very important for me. Um, so um, it's part of giving back to the community. So, so far, so good. Um, you know, coming back to uh, stuff like this, don't worry too much about it. And also I wanted to quickly drop this one here as well. So again, we don't need to do a second video. I think in this video alone, I'll put some timestamps so you can actually see what's going on. So I was going to tell you, um, so you see on coin market cap, um, you can actually customize. So if you go here, you can actually customize the data to your liking. And as you can see, I'm logged in. So by logging in, um, I have my personal preference set up. And this is the one I was talking about. So I'm not going to do a second video. I'll just do it here. I know it's a long video, but please watch it to the end. Um, so this one here, as you can see, we are looking at the price today. We're looking at the all-time high. I'm ignoring this. I'm ignoring this. Um, and I'm looking at this, right? So there's a few things I'm looking at. So some metrics I'm looking at. And what I wanted you, you to understand is... 
if there was a massive difference here, and I'll show you a few coins that do, do have that, and there's no hope for them. If there was a massive difference here, I'll be worried, right? But when we're so close, right, to this particular prices, right, so all time high and where we are now, there are most likely we'll kind of come back to this, right? You know, looking at Ethereum, we're going to come back to this, right? BNB, I'm a little bit skeptical, but then again, BNB and Cardano have been fighting. And as you can see, the market cap is just, you know, a very small number. They've just been playing around with each other. But ultimately, look at the year to date, right? Look at the year to date, how far we've gone. So that's what I want you to understand as well. Um, you know, and number one, to find that all time high in the price, remember, we're very close. So when we're too close to a number, we are definitely bound to keep on touching that number or going close enough, right? I mean, here's one that I, I, there's no hope. You know, come on, this we're at the like, you know, peak, almost coming to the peak of the bull market. You think this one's ever going to go back to that price? Good luck, right? I mean, this is just pure hopium, right? Nothing else. Um, and I don't want that drug. So put it this way. Here's another one. Look, very good hope. You know, Litecoin, hopeful hopeful i would say you know very hopeful because it's not doing that bad compared to where it dropped right and we can go into those data even more if you want but i just want to quickly just show you that you know how to spot that gem right and how to avoid those um stupid ones right so forget the the the, the stable coins but look at this one come on it was here it's there right now are we ever going to go back there i doubt it right but look at this one beautiful beautiful right Look at this one, um, you know, we're 50% there. Okay, do you know what? I'll give it a benefit of the doubt. Look at this one, beautiful. So this is what I want to show you, how you can spot those. But just by doing this one customization, right, where if you have your price and your all-time high, you can actually just spot it just by looking at it. Okay, is it hope, hope, hopeful or is it hopeless, right? Just by looking at that, you know, because um, during the last bear market, a lot of the coins, you have to understand, dropped by 80, 90, 99%, some of them. Some of them even vanished, right? So some of those coins coming back, like look at this one. This one was um, before, I think just after the um, the last, um, when we entered the bear market, this one did go all the way up to like $18, $19, right? Um, and, or probably more actually, it was more, 18, 19 pounds to be precise actually, sorry. And then it dropped and it just never came back. That's hopeless, right? Even this one, look at this one. Look at the look at the proportion. I want you to understand the proportion, right? If this is 50%, do you know what? I'll give this one bit more chances than actually giving it to this one, even though they're all just clones, right? Because this one just hopeless. It's never coming back to this. So that's what I want you guys to understand. I mean, if you look at some of these coins, right, where they, like these are new coins, obviously, so they're still in price discovery. So they haven't even reached their potential, right? Um, looking at, for example, Cardano, this is a project that came in 2017. This is a project that came in 2017. And if they've both done this, there's a lot of potential for it. So this is what you have to understand, right? You know, just by looking at this, you can see who's going to do what. I mean, here's, here's a good one. Look at this Terra Luna new coin, right? 3,251% up from after it launched. Brilliant, right? This is what we need. So does this have hope? Absolutely. Can this grow a little bit more? Possibly, right? So these are the stuff you've got to look at. And also use the same data to sometimes buy the dips, right? This is what, another thing as well. You've got to understand. You can actually buy the dips on that one. I mean, I know a lot of people are going to argue about this particular one. But the problem is, look, how many they have and how many they print per minute. They print... Um, I think when you mine it, you get back, the reward is 10,000 um, doge per minute. Uh, honestly, um, yeah, carry on. It's infinite supply. I'm not interested, right? So that's just me. It's just my little two cents on it. So up to you guys what you do, right? As I always say, you do you, I do me, all right? Here's another one. Look at this one, right? It was at 30 cents. It's right now at 6 cents. Do you think this one has any hope? Even though this one looks like this, do you think it has any hope? So use those data to your advantage. That's what I'm asking, right? Just use those data to your advantage. Sometimes they can look misleading, but just look closely at the numbers and see how far apart in percentage are they. We're in a bull market. We're full on bull cycle, right? We Bitcoin just did like, you know, as you can see here, forget this number. We went from $3,000 $3,000 right today. And this particular 95% you're seeing is probably just showing where we were once upon a time. Excuse me one second. So as you can see um, where we were, I know if you remember like back in um, January, I forgot what price we were like 20, 30,000. So from there, if we've gone up 100%, it's not bad, right? This is the kind of stuff you need to look at, right? But more importantly, just look at the numbers currently. That's what's more important. Look at the numbers currently. Ignore this one. These are stable coins. So stable coins are pegged to the dollar. So forget those ones. But just look at these numbers. If they're too close, then they're bound to come and try that number again. 
That's it. It's pure logic, nothing more. You don't even need technical analysis on this. You don't need to know how to use TradingView for that, right? But even if you did, then I, of course, I've showed you today exactly how to use TradingView. So, and also there's plenty of shortcuts as well. So for example, I'm not doing, um, I'm not going to press any buttons. And if I just type in BTC, it will bring up uh, BTC or any number I want, right? So you've got plenty of shortcuts and everything in there. So I can use whatever I want. So for example, here, I'm just going to use this particular one and it will just bring it up and show me exactly what the data is so another clean chart i can use so you know there are plenty of stuff out there uh, for you to see but i just wanted everyone to understand that there's so much data um looking into it right um and i'm going back to looking into bitcoin obviously um that it can confuse you but don't be because the thing is is you know the logarithmic curve right when we look at those logarithmic curves and everything even on this particular chart i'll put the logarithmic on again right if you look at it um, you can see that yes you know we're hovering around this is the orange line was our median line right and again thirty nine thousand, right and our top line is showing 102 we are hovering around and these are all fibonacci and every single fibonacci level we've never been there before so every one of them is a resistance, right? Any price point, any Fibonacci level on this logarithmic chart that we've already been at is our um, a support line, right? So when we start going into these support lines, if we come down, then these are going to be our major support lines and every line above them, right, is going to be our major resistance line. So you have to understand this, that, you know, the data is continuously evolving right it's continuously evolving and we are going to get to the level where we are going to touch this line but trust me we are going to touch this line question is when you know and in the short term right we might come back to this line we're still fine as long as we don't drop below this line we are absolutely fine this is actually not a bad deal it's quite healthy so i wanted everybody to understand this and also i know some people um we've got some people on the whatsapp group um i've made a new group and for those guys, I just wanted to quickly just say, guys, you know, it's it's good to be optimistic. Um, just don't be too optimistic, right? Because you've got to understand, I always say, like, make sure you take your profits. So, for example, anybody who's on uh, uh, VET, VChain, right? Take your profits. Anybody's on Theta, take your profit. Anybody's on Uni, take your profit. And if you're not taking your profit, at least take some money out because then you've got some money to play with right? You can buy those dips if you have your money there. It's not about putting more and more money. Nobody's made out of infinite money. But the point is, is you've got to have enough money there for you to constantly play the games, right? Um, so other than that, guys, I'm hoping this video was um, helpful. And uh, obviously my first video um, in one week because of uh, the uh, stupid strike I had. Um, other than that, um, if you like the content, if you like what I'm doing, um, please do consider subscribing, smash that like button, um, let me know if you what your thoughts are, um, what you think about these videos, share with one other if you find this very helpful, and uh, I'm going to catch you on another one. Thank you very much, take care, and we see you soon.